Hi everyone, welcome at this week vlog. Ivy is now three months and two weeks and she is so adorable. You will see in the rest of the video. She just woke up from her little nap. She naps normally three to four times a day and her naps take mostly 30 minutes and sometimes when I'm lucky like 45 minutes. This is her little outfit for today. Nice and cozy. Current situation. <laughs> It's really nice that now she's like more than three months old. She like can play like by herself a little while. Not very long, but I can get some work done. And she really loves to put everything in her mouth. She can grab things and she can look at something and reach for it now. Um, as you can see, like that's new for her. So it's really nice to see her evolve. We also train on standing up without a lot of help. Look at her. So strong. I'm holding her, but she's doing the most. And now she's sitting, but sitting is difficult. Like she doesn't understand. She can balance. Yeah, we're practicing, we're practicing. We do this every day, like the standing thing we do every day, the laying thing we do every day, the sitting every day. When she is on her back, she can roll to her side. Not completely to her belly yet, but to her side. Sometimes she gets mad at the gravity because it's, it's hardio. It's time for our second nap of the day. And normally she goes down really easy. We don't have a strict routine because that only gives me more stress and no, that doesn't work for us. But we keep um, wake times. So when she's awake for an hour, two, an hour and a half, I put her bed back in her bed. And normally she sleeps in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And she always like complains a little bit. She complains a little bit before she has to go to bed. Oh, but look, you can see when she like turns her head, that means like, that's her sleeping position, hands up and her head to the side. If she does that, I know she's tired. We're still Monday and we just filmed some content for our sponsor Basic Fit and we're at planking stage so right Tangy? Ivy is in bed earlier than normal normally she goes to bed between 8 and 9 p.m. but tomorrow um, she's going to my parents for a day so we have to wake up earlier so I also put her to bed a little bit earlier normally she sleeps till 10 a.m. sometimes even 11 a.m. like 4 in the morning she eats and then in the morning around 9 a.m. and then she after that last feed in the morning, I wake up and she sleeps for another two hours. And I see you tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning, YouTube. It's Tuesday. I'm really in a hurry. Ivy is still sleeping. Jonathan, Jonathan just fed her. Um, he's back from night shift. But um, I woke up earlier so I could get everything in the car for Ivy to go to her grandparents. But an order for booty tools just came in, so I have to put everything inside before I leave. And I normally should leave in 15 minutes. And I still have to dress, wake Ivy, dress Ivy, get her in the car. Oh my god, because I have to be at the hairdresser at 11 a.m. And my parents live 30 minutes driving away. Then I have to drive back here. <sighs> I'm gonna stop talking, I'm just gonna go because... We are ready. Same outfit as yesterday. Kikibu. Yay. <laughs> Hi, good morning. 
morning. Mm. Well, she's not mad about waking up. Did you? You know, me just laughing in the auto. Are you gonna sleep in car? Okay, let's go. Hi guys, so I'm back home from the hairdresser. What do you think about my hair? I was just on time at the hairdresser. Ah, oh, it was a really stressful morning. This is my mom. She's playing. So I know everything is going well. Really, really busy. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I just updated you guys that she hasn't cried yet. Now my mom says she doesn't want to sleep and she's really mad. Yeah. She's home again. The last hours were a little bit difficult. I will tell you when she goes to bed because I'm gonna feed her real quickly. And then she really needs to go to bed, so off to bed. Okay, so this little thing is on her diaper. And then I can see her temperature, her position, how fast she's breathing. The sleep state right now is light. This was last night, it was a really good night. I get it, an alarm on my phone when she stops breathing. It's against sits. So, okay, so the thing with my parents was that I told my mom, like, keep her awake maximum one hour and a half, and she lost track of time. She wasn't really looking at the hour. She texted me, like, what's wrong? She's really angry. I couldn't get her to sleep. And I told her she's probably overtired, so please get her back to her bed and try to soothe her, try anything to get her back to sleep. When I came in, I saw her face and she was really upset, so extremely tired. I looked at her and I was like, oh my gosh, my heart, oh poor thing. It's now 10.30 p.m. and I'm doing my workout and I'm not gonna lie, I am really freaking proud of myself for doing this. I'm not motivated at all to do this, but this is like what I'm talking about, like pure dedication. You can't always rely on your motivation, especially in fitness. If you really want to get somewhere, you have to be dedicated in what you do. What helps me to finish the workout, writing down everything I'm gonna do. And this keeps me yeah, reliable that I will actually do the full workout. I'm using ankle weights. Um, from Booty Tools, my brand. I'm doing minimal rest in between sets and I'm doing sets of 20 reps each leg. Ivy will have to eat her night feeding. Mm, it's always really painful to wake up and you're like so deeply asleep a few hours and then you have to wake up every night and that's really exhausting. Good morning! Good morning! Now I'm going to get her ready for her shots, snooze, and now it's off, and you can slide it over her diaper. Bless you! <laughs> Thanks, mom! It's so much easier if you have the clothes that fit right now right here because we always change her here just because i don't want to walk upstairs all the time one two three <laughs> Ta -da! we are back home and it wasn't two shots but one in her leg and one serum in her mouth and she actually barely cried so i'm impressed jonathan woke up a few hours ago from night shift and he went well here I am he went for an hour walk with her um, and I did some work in the meantime 
and when he got back we filmed some content for a sponsor on Instagram and now he's back at work um, you're gorgeous you're so gorgeous plot twist I don't get her to sleep um, yeah the last nap of the day is always a little bit more difficult like the same problem my mom had yesterday but normally I get her to sleep I will get her to sleep, obviously, because she really needs to sleep. But it just takes a little more effort today. So I'm gonna give her some more food. I'm not gonna take her out of bed until she has had her nap. Whoa. Um, we are now four hours or something, I don't know, later. And um, yeah, I really didn't get her to sleep and that never happens to me she was almost awake for three hours that's way too long um, and then I checked her temperature because after a vaccine um, the temperature can rise and they can get a fever and in fact she has a fever it's the next morning her fever kept rising so i had to give her some medication we had a quite difficult night she still sleeps next to me in her own bed i hope she will get better because on saturday which is in two days we have a wedding where we have to go to okay so um i cancelled our shopping trip and probably tonight i'm also not going to work out what was both my plan to relax a little bit because that's a long time ago um, that I went shopping or did something like that for myself. I can't even get her to nap. Good morning guys! It's the next day and we are both way happier. So yesterday I did went shopping. That was really good that we went because I really needed like the me time and you're not done. Um, was with Ivy the whole day. It was really difficult also for him to get her to nap, but she napped upstairs in her dark room. Today her fever is completely gone. <laughs> I am happy. <baby. laughs> I'm happy she's happy. It's a good day. Ben you wakker? Good morning. <laughs> yes. of the couple which is my brother and my sister-in-law um, and it's raining so it's really not convenient and we have to still change her because she's still in her PGs and she doesn't want to drink and yeah she's also really tired
Okay, so they just got married. Congrats to my brother and Kelly. Um, yeah, so we went inside to change her because she was still in her PGs. So we changed her, changed her diaper. I gave her some food inside. Look here, the, the newlyweds. They have a big party this summer, but now they are just married for the law. <laughs> Before we went in, I was walking her around in the pram for like an half an hour so she could sleep a little bit. So she slept and I was really cold. Nou, ik dacht van um, het koppel er nog eens te trekken toen het aanzoek, het huwelijk, op dezelfde locatie. Dan gaat het koud in die winter. Maar echt niet. Jullie moeten daar weten. No. No. And we are going to stop the week vlog right here. Say bye bye. Say thank you for watching. Give this a thumbs up. Like a, a thumbs up. And subscribe. Bye everyone.